Hi and welcome to another two from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the Inkscape basics and we're looking at the path of Bezier tools. And today we're looking at my favorite tool in the whole toolbox, and that is the Bezier curves and straight lines or the pen tool. And you can activate this by pressing Shift and F6, or you can press B on your keyboard for the Bezier. And when activated, you'll see a okay. You'll see a quill or Inkscape's pen, the right here, and you'll see a cross. And this is the tool that most people use to draw all sorts of shapes in Inkscape. So when your shapes are very complex and you're drawing people or other things, the Bezier tool is usually the way to go. And the Bezier tool has five different modes and different shapes that you can apply to with those modes. Same like the pencil tool and same like the pencil tool. And we're just going to go through that quickly. So the first one is the first mode, which is the regular Bezier um, curve, which is the freest of all of the curve modes. And that allows us to draw Bezier's fire curve via smooth nodes for every time we left click. So what this does is that it creates a smooth node every left click and if you are not aware of smooth nodes I can I will leave a I'll leave a link to a tutorial at that talks about the node tool and how each node is but the smooth node quickly is when the both of the handles are mirroring each other in other words they are opposite each other and that allows for almost a perfect curve and what you can do afterwards once you draw your bezier curve is that you can go through and you can edit these nodes however you want to to get the shape that you need and if you want a node to no longer be a curve you can always highlight it and change it to a corner node and then begin to adjust according to that so the bezier tool allows you to create any shape free shape that you wish and if you go to b that is the create regular bezier path so this is the regular bezier path and this is the freest of all path tools now if you want to be a bit more restrictive and you want it to be curves mathematical curves that are perfect then you can look for the spiral tool and the spiral tool will just create curves for you and allow you to create them as you see it. So this blue line shows you what the curve is going to look like and restricts your movement slightly so that you can get better curves. So this is a perfectly smooth curve using the Bezier tool. And if you double click it, you'll see where our original line was. And you'll see what the curve tool has done for us. So when you want mathematically automatically generated curves, then you're going to be using the spiral tool. And the equivalent in nodes would be the automatic smooth curve. Good. So we have the regular and the spiral. So let's look at the next one. And we're going to look at the B spline path, and this draws curves, as mentioned in the pencil tool, as a line of best fit between angles. Now, this is what's used also in Illustrator to, Illustrator to create curves, Adobe Illustrator. And this is where the curve is a mathematical calculation between two perpendicular lines. And if I double click, well, I'll go again and create another curve. Oh, that was also nice. Create one more. Yeah, this looks good. Single click and draw your line as you left click for every node. And if you look at it, you see the red line is those perpendicular lines to each other. And they don't have to be perpendicular. 
but they are the breast curves are usually at right angles to each other but they work like this as angles to each other to create the curve and the curve is is controlled by the line segments of each one of these points on the red line that you see so as we make a point with the red line the curve follows it and that's how B spline works to create curves it's just another it's a very free way of creating curves and it's another way that um, it's another way to the regular and if you get your head around it you can pretty much make any sort of shape with this type of curve transformation it's just another way to control it that's the B spline so we have the regular the spiral and the B spline let's look at the next two the next two are very restrictive but they're for very special use case scenarios when you don't want any curves any at all you're going to activate this one which is straight line segments and this is simply straight line segments so no curves involved in this the straight lines and the last one but let's just increase the size of this so that you can see it pixels let's make it free yeah that looks good and the last one is the parallel line segments and this is where you can get angles now you're going to get lines and all of them are going to be parallel to each other this is good for specific graphs and such put this to free so you can see it all right so a quick summary going through each one of these ones the parallel sequence of the line segments is where all lines are parallel to each other well parallel or perpendicular to each other you don't get angles outside of that so either they're parallel to each other or they're perpendicular one of the two for this one that's just used with straight lines they can be any angle but they have to be but they are also without curves there are no curves no roundedness in this bezier construction tool for the next one for the next mode the b spline uses line segments to control the curves and therefore it becomes a line the best fit for where these nodes are and where the curves are so each line segment creates the curves and notably this is used in illustrator adobe illustrator so you can create any shape with this it's just another methodology um, to rival that of the regular bezier curve then you've got the spiral which uses in this case mathematical calculation function to make the most perfect curves as possible so it is probably the most most restrictive out of all and it will not give your shape true to what you draw most of the time and last is the regular bezier curve which uses smooth nodes for every single point where there is a curve change in your shape and you can draw pretty much anything with this and this is my favorite option so you have the different types of bezier modes so we're going to look at the shape types and for the shape type you have ellipse you have triangle in create a triangle quickly triangle in and we have triangle out let's reduce the size of these a bit You have clipboard and you should have also Ben from clipboard and last apply. Now we did this last time, but we're gonna look at this again because it's always good to go over it. You may not look at the pencil tool. So the ellipse shape is where we get a circle and we elongate that circle along a path with curves included. So this will can elongate as long as possible along the a curve line so we're gonna select ellipse let's take a look at it and just use it with the bezier tool and if we make this curve right here and we look at this this is actually this ellipse elongated along the line let's increase the size so that we can see it 
and you can see that the side, side the ends are rounded so the ellipse like ellipse and if we were to remove these nodes and bring it back to a, another shape it would look just like this ellipse or a circle elongated all right so we have the ellipse elongated and then we're looking at triangle in which is the same principle as the ellipse but a triangle so one end is going to be flat the other end is going to be pointy and the, the line going inwards is going to be pointy so if we get activate the node tool and drag out we see that this is a triangle that's just been stretched along the curve so just like this base point stretched along the curve and triangle out operates in the same way just in the other direction so you go triangle out uh, move out then the base is on this side stretch out and it looks pretty much just like a triangle move this along the way it's smooth looks like an elongated triangle along the curve clip path is when um, clipboard is when we have a shape and we add it to the clipboard by copying so when we copy we add it to Inkscape's clipboard and that gives us the ability to edit to create a path that stretches or elongates this shape which we copied or this could be any shape as long as it's a shape along the path good and it gives us a lot of flexibility again this is mathematically intensive for Inkscape so if you have a slow computer you may want to take your time with this probably can only do a, a few amount of these at a time if your computer is fast it won't be a problem but this takes a lot of mathematical calculation so you want to make sure that your computer is apt to handle it if you're going to do it and that's the clipboard long path let's look at the bend along path which gives us a bit more flexibility let me stretch it out get a lot more of a bend good also this stops us from actually editing the node afterwards good so it bends along the path but we don't have the option to edit the, the path handles afterwards so similar to clipboard but we, we can edit the paths afterwards for some reason yeah I think that's about it and this circle increases the size so those are the different shapes and last applied as well the last applied so if you're logging and using the last applied that would be none okay great so we have the bezier tool if you enjoy this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you have any questions be sure to ask I'll be happy to answer either on YouTube or on my website. But until I see you again, get up and design a new dawn. Later.